In an unprecedented move, Colombia chose 60 victims of human rights abuse to participate in peace negotiations. The peace talks between Colombia and the guerrilla group FARC are being held in Havana, Cuba. Tens of thousands have been killed, millions displaced in 50 years of conflict. CCTV's Michelle Vega has more. In 2007, when Angela Giraldo found out her brother, politician Francisco Giraldo, had been executed by the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia after five years of captivity, the farthest thing on her mind was peace. I felt peace in Colombia was not possible, that Colombians were used to killing. It was a huge letdown. Francisco Giraldo was one of 12 deputy legislators kidnapped by the FARC in April 2002 to pressure a prisoner exchange between the guerrilla group and the government. But after five years and no negotiations, the FARC reported the deaths of 11 of the 12 hostages. For Angela Giraldo, the key for forgiveness was in this final proof of life video before her brother's life was cut short at the age of 37. God and your messages give me strength and don't allow me to hold hate and grudges. Today, more than ever, I have learned to forgive those that have done me wrong. Peace begins with us. When asked to participate in peace talks, Angela Giraldo had no doubts. It is the only way to construct a new Colombia. If we continue feeding the hate and the war, the victims will never end. Last month in Cuba, each of the first 12 victims read their testimonies behind a closed-door meeting with the guerrilla group and Colombian government negotiators. Meeting FARC commanders face-to-face -face wasn't easy, says Giraldo. She didn't approach them, but in a surprising moment, the rebel leader, Pablo Catatumbo, addressed her directly. He said he recognized that what happened to these deputy legislators should have never happened, and my request is that he promises that this never happens again. Sixty victims total will take part in this historical moment for Colombia, where forgiveness seems to be a little more than just a dream. Michelle Vega, CCTV, Colombia.